Welcome to Redstone class. Today we're going to go over three secrets to note blocks and how you can use them in Redstone machinery. And I'm also going to show you the basics to begin with. We're going to go over the different notes, the different ways you can play them, and we're going to summarize how you can do them compactly and quickly. So let's get started. So first thing you need to know, they don't make any sound if you have something on top. That's very important. Um, there's been some changes recently that were reverted, so ignore them, in snapshots for 1.19. So this old logic is still the same. They still work the same way they always have. So something you should know about note blocks is there are 25 notes to them, not 24, because it starts at 0 and goes all the way up to 24. And so when you include that, you have two octaves up. So 12 notes is an octave, and so if I have from 0 up to 12, 0 and 12 are going to be the same exact thing. So 12 is F-sharp, 0 is F-sharp, 24 is F-sharp. That's true for every other note, obviously, because they're in order. So if A is 3, add 12 to that, and 15 is going to be an A as well. And so they go in a rainbow so that you can see what color they are. They are a nightmare to figure out if you are not using Vanilla Tweaks resource pack. So go ahead and go get that if you want to play with these. Definitely recommend it. This section is going to be heavily dedicated to the homework because you need to get used to these if you're not used to them already. So let's take a look at the different sounds. So there are 16 different sounds for anything other that's not specified. This goes for no block. This goes for dirt blocks. It's going to make a harp sound. And these are the different sounds. So we've got, I have them right here. Wood is going to make a bass sound. You have a snare drum for sand. And so you have a click for glass. You have a bass drum for stone. You have a bell for a gold block. You have a flute for clay. Packed ice. And this doesn't work for regular ice or for blue ice, but for packed ice, you get a chime. Very Christmassy if you want to do Christmas music. You've got guitar out of wool. I really like that one. You've got a xylophone, two different types of xylophones. You've got a vibraphone that's metallic for iron blocks, and for bone blocks you have a traditional one. I like those sounds. So soul sand gives you a cowbell. You get didgeridoo if you do a uh, pumpkin. And then emerald block will give you a techno kind of vibe, a synth or a bit. Those are kind of fun. I like those. You get a banjo for a hay bale, and then you get an electric piano playing for glowstone. So these are the different ones. And so I actually have rigged up right here some commands. Um, I'll put this in the description. But what you can do is you can set a region to be them so that you can change the sound of an instrument really quickly. And so I have this set up. So if I come over here and say, let's do synth. Here's how you do a compact system. So I went ahead and made that command replace those. So each of these 3 by 4 areas is exactly the same. I want you to look closely at them. We've got 0 ticks, and this is on 1 tick, and then we've got 2, 3, 4 right here. And so this setup right here is repeatable. It will allow you, if you put it into a block next to a note block, to cause the fastest possible play of note blocks. And so if you can understand how to do this, you can place note blocks slower. It's very common for people to just take them and put longer delays in between them anyway. But if you need to play a bunch of them quickly, isn't that neat? And I'll go ahead and show it to you in another sound. So let's do, um, we're gonna do chimes. And so, and so we can do that. We'll do one more and then we'll move on. So let's do, I like guitar. Guitar is a fun one. I also like banjo, but we'll just do guitar for now. See? Yeah, so in order to make up your own song, which is going to be your homework, you want to change the number of ticks so that you have different speed. So this will go... Oh, I didn't connect it. Nah, it's got a point into it. There we go. Boom, ba boom, and so bum. that was because there was a four tick delay and then a two tick delay. So let's come over here. So this is all—all all you need to know to be able to make music is that you can't put anything on top, but it will work if you have it against it like this. If you're powering a block next to it, all of these will play, and. If you power it with a repeater, it's going to power the other note blocks next to it as well, which is going to cause it to be able to do chords like that. So that's a compact way of doing chords. I've got a C, a C major chord right here. 
And so it's C, E, and G. All right, so let's move on to the fun stuff. So for redstone, so what you should know is that it's commonly used in flying machines because you can use note blocks as an update. And so if I right click this, it moves. That's really useful for a lot of round stone components. So over here, there's two other things I want to show you. So the unique observer transmission that I see that makes this capable of other things in redstone components is not only will when you power it, will it cause an observer to trigger? So whenever this observer sees something and it's going to power this block, which powers it, not only does that work, but also when you change the block underneath it to something else, it will also submit a signal. So it actually serves as a downward or diagonal block update detector. If you're ever in a pinch in a redstone machine, there might be a way to do this. Isn't that wild? Uh, see, that doesn't change it because air is the same thing as anything generic. But if I go and I grab something like clay, that changes the sound this would make. So without playing, it actually does send a redstone signal. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so that's all I got this video. Next one's going to be homework. The homework is for you to make your own song or your own jingle. I would say use at least eight. Use at least eight note blocks. Um, if you want to do one on 16 or 32 or you want to do a really long song, go for it. But the big part of this section is homework. You want to get comfortable with note blocks and what you can do with them and how you can deploy them. And so I would say go ahead and do that. And in the homework video, I'll go ahead and do one live and show you how you figure out what notes to match without using any, any external programs. And again, if you haven't, look into vanilla tweaks because they're way easier to use if you have these displays on the side. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that. Have a good rest of your day. Class is dismissed.